Today in series of Doplex scale interviews, we have with us Dr. Raghu Satyanarayan, who is an eminent diabetologist and consultant physician from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. His area of research interest are clinical trials in insulin and DPP-4 inhibitors. He is a member of Indian Medical Association, Ahmedabad Physicians Association and Research Society for the Study of Diabetes in India. Thank you so much for the interview, sir. Thank you. So, let's begin with the first question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what are the indications of starting concentrated prandial or basal insulin in type 2 diabetes patients? Type 2 diabetic patients who are on large doses of insulin would uh, be benefited by using concentrated insulin so that you know a small volume of the insulin is injected into the body. So that helps in lesser pain and you know uh, that's the advantage of using uh, concentrated using, uh, 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 doses of, of insulin. Okay. Uh, so, Doctor, moving on to the next one. Uh, what are the roles of DPP-4 inhibitors and G GLP-1 RAS in the management of diabetes? I start DPP-4 inhibitors in uh, new patients who are newly diagnosed with diabetes because they have no hypoglycemia risk and they are weight neutral. And GLP-1 analogs also I have started using in good number of patients where uh, weight is a big problem and I want to get the patient's weight down. So diabetes management today has changed in the last five years with the availability of newer and newer molecules like DPP-4 inhibitors and GLP-1 analogs. GLP-1 analogs have a great advantage of the patients losing weight to the tune of 10 to 15 kilos. So that's a huge advantage. So patients might have reversal of diabetes also as per the latest uh, article in Lancet where uh, the diabetes tag is gone if the patient loses about 15 kilos in about 85% uh, of the patients. So, Doctor, moving on to the next one. Can you elaborate your research on insulin, gliptins and other anti-diabetic drugs? I have conducted post-marketing surveillance on uh, gliptins and I found that it's a very, very promising molecule in terms of A1C reduction has got good uh, glycemic efficacy also and it has the added advantage of being a weight neutral drug and there is no hypoglycemia risk at all. So gliptins are very very wonderful drugs in the management of uh, diabetes today because there is no risk of hypoglycemia at all. So that's the great advantage. Okay. Um, so doctor is there any guideline for selecting one class of anti-diabetic drug over the others for the management of diabetes that is uncontrolled with metformin and insulin? As uh, if patients are on insulin and metformin and still not under control, I would think of adding a DPP-4 inhibitor. I might also add an SGLT2 inhibitor if the patient's weight is high. So that has the added advantages of uh, the patients losing weight. And the uh, other add-on will be a GLP-1 analog also in patients who are not controlled on insulin with uh, metformin. A new molecule is available in the market and brand name of Zultafi where it's a combination of Treceba with uh, liraglutide. Mm -hmm. That is Degludeg with liraglutide is available in the market under the brand name of Zultafi. So I have started using Zultafi in a few of my patients who are not under control with a basal insulin and metformin. So this also has got a promising uh, results because of being weight neutral instead patients tend to shed weight with this combination molecules. Right. Uh, so Dr. Lastly, uh, Docplexis is a digital online platform for doctors. So do you believe such online communities are practical choices for advanced knowledge uh, and training yeah, for it doctors? Do, it hmm. would because uh, we can share our experiences with other doctors and give them the first hand uh, experience to, and share with the other doctors where they can also try and start using newer and newer molecules and they can have first hand experience. So Docplexus is a wonderful platform. Okay. Thank you so much doctor, it was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you.